we have another ribbon tutorial for you for your Christmas tree. Let me show you how I made this cute little ribbon addition. I'm starting with quality two and a half inch ribbon. It's finished off on both sides. So no matter what side is facing front, it will still look very pretty. I love the lime green and red. This time it has a touch of gold instead of white. So just a different color combination. It also has the emerald green. To me, this feels very traditional. I'm just gonna fold that because why not show it off if it's there? Let's see, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is get about a 14 inch streamer. Oh, I'm going to pinch and pleat right here. I'm gonna make my first loop. It's gonna be about 10 inches. right there and I'm going to pinch and pleat okay we are not twisting here so now here's the back of my fingers I'm going to put one two three fingers okay and my goal is to keep this all stacked on top of each other so now I'm going to bring that back so bring this is the front bringing the front up around those three fingers and we're trying to create another loop that's slightly larger so i'm gonna pull out my ribbon a little bit more and i'm gonna stack it up i think i'm gonna measure this for you this looks like 14 inches okay so here is what it looks like I'm gonna now move my fingers from here, moving these fingers now back behind right there. So we're just gonna move those, okay, to keep it in line. And now move this finger to the back as well. Pinch and pleat. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move my three fingers here don't twist we're going to wrap this up and around and i'm just eyeballing it i want the distance from the second to the third loop to match the first to the second you can make this flat if you want to okay so i'm going to come in just a little bit i'll measure this this is about 17 inches for you okay we get that back stacked on top of it. Remember what we're going to do now? We're going to move these two fingers from in front of the loop to the back of the loop. Okay, just like that. That also helps you to like just gauge it one more time to make sure it's what you like and it's evenly spaced. Okay, now I'm going to move this finger, which is holding these two loop loops to the back behind that loop. Okay. And we're going to pinch and pleat. Okay, I'm just going to stack these. All right, now that we're ready to tie it off, we've got three loops. It does kind of remind me of ribbon candy <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to twist right here to get the good side of the ribbon facing forward. So at this point, you can use your tree branches to secure this in. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that you can also take zip tie or wire and secure this notice we didn't haven't cut the ribbon yet so we can have we can save this for other years all right always before I make it very tight I want to check everything one more time because if I think that something isn't lining up I can always Pull it out a little okay and that looks very uniform and then you're going to pull the zip tie tight okay let's cut off a zip tie and from here you're just going to measure out about a yard depends on how long you want your streamer i'm just going to cut mine about 31 inches i think it's a line of a lot for i mean my folding OK, 
okay, to have that pretty part showing. So that's going to be hidden by your ribbon from right here. But this is what it looks like underneath. So you're, you have these little baby loops under here, but you have your larger loops. So the baby loops are, are the mechanics basically, and they're going to be hidden. And now let's add this to our Christmas tree. All I'm going to do is take a tree and cover up my zip tie. All right, so I want to make sure that I'm having some distance between the you know bows that we might have already added. I'm going to put it in here. You want to put it back um, enough to make it look like it's nestled in the tree, but not so much that you can't see your three loops. This technique looks very pretty when you have um, a velvet ribbon as well. All right, I do think that um, it'll be a little trickier if you're going to do it with your four inch ribbon, but it just depends. If you have a very large tree that's got a lot of depth to it, I'm going to see that you can make sure and see it. There we go. Okay, and now this one we're just going to waterfall, have it cascade in and then out. 